So we're going to take a tour around Neptune Canada's uh, observatory network, starting here at the University of Victoria, thanks to Google Earth. This is our headquarters, based at uh, UVic, and it, we're connected by a high bandwidth uh, communication fiber to our shore station at Port Alberni. From there, we have a cable loop of 800 kilometers that goes out across the uh, Pacific uh, floor, about 300 kilometers. Here we see installation at a shallowest site in just 20 meters of water, an array of cameras developed at the University of Alberta. And uh, this is just being placed in the water, and a set of divers now will take this down and bolt it onto the seafloor. And what's remarkable here is just the ex exquisite and highly abundant uh, biota of uh, sponges and a variety of invertebrates. And that array of cameras can see and image that uh, in real time in three dimensions. We have lots of other instruments there, including hydrophones to uh, examine the passage of whales. So we come across the continental shelf onto the continental slope at about 1300 meters and lo and behold the remotely operated vehicle encountered this rice cooker along with a screwdriver 1300 meters. Opening it up there's a mother octopus and just under the lid you can see the eggs hanging down. Really quite quite remarkable. But this was really the objective they were looking for uh, methane bubbling out of the seafloor. This is actually a, a fairly low energy bubbling and it's essentially the release of methane from gas hydrates that occur in more solid form in the subsurface. So we come across the abyssal plain to a site on the uh, spreading ridge where the plates are pulling apart and here we see some of the brittle stars as just one of the components. This has been speeded up a little bit uh, but again, quite remarkable photography. At this site, we hope to, uh, in due course, when it's fully instrumented, uh, look at the venting in where the sediments have covered uh, the vents and have precipitated mineral deposits. But at the Endeavour site here, we have the venting taking place, and we can examine that. This is a, a sort of a dead vented area on which is now cloaked by these exquisite uh, deep water corals. But nearby, we see the active venting taking place. Water is streaming out of this, uh, out of the uh, upper part of the ocean crust. The temperatures here we measure at over 300 degrees Celsius. And when it hits the cold water of the deep Pacific, it precipitates in a series of uh, chimneys made up of a variety of polymetallic sulfide deposits. Here are the chimneys, and you can see them leaking hot sediments. And as we approach and uh, get closer to them, you can see that they're encased in a whole variety of vent uh, faunas, of uh, tube worms and spider crabs and a variety of very uh, bizarre and interesting organisms. So these have been studied now for a few years but now we will be able to look at them and study them in real time. So if we move away from that site uh, across to the middle part of the abyssal plain here at ODP 1027 site and we are able to uh, instrument a borehole there that's uh, corked, that it's, we're able to look at the different uh, regimes as we go down through sediments and into the basaltic crust. Here again we see holothurian uh, echinoderms uh, walking on the seafloor and also deep water octopus here that has taken up residency on this uh, drilling infrastructure, the cork, uh, that allows us to look at the subsurface. That gives us information on tsunamis, so it's a tsunami array, and this is the model that we contributed to from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans of the Chilean tsunami in February 2010. Moving from that uh, site on the middle of the abyssal plain, we come up the continental slope to Barclay Canyon. The waters there are highly productive. You can see from the Humboldt squids having a feast on the uh, zooplankton. And we're looking through that water column, 400 meters, with this vertical profiler. The float that you've just seen past contains uh, 11 different instruments to measure virtually all of the parameters that you would ever wish to uh, look at within the water column itself. So it goes up and down through a yo-yo, and we have other instruments on the seafloor, also looking at uh, the environment on the seafloor at this location. Our facilities have uh, been found to be attractive by these uh, halibut that have taken up residency nearby. Once again, you can see the remarkable imagery. So we come uh, into the canyon itself, 
And what's remarkable there is that the gas hydrates actually outcrop. And so a team in Germany led by Lorenz Thompson has built this uh, crawler. We have methane sensors on it, cameras, and more recently, a variety of additional instruments. So this is from the camera, actually on the crawler, driven from Germany, 8,000 kilometers away, to investigate uh, the nature of the organisms, the methane venting, and a variety of other processes at that site. And then from that slope site, the cable comes back to the inshore site, Folger Passage, into Port Alberni, and back to the University of Victoria.